I'm with Watershed Management Group. Today we're here at the Living Lab and Learning Center. We're going to walk you through how a masonry, double chamber, composting toilet works, is operated, maintained, and talk to you about the benefits and the safety of using humanure as a resource. So you may be wondering why use a composting toilet over a flush toilet? Well, there's two primary reasons that I like composting toilets. One, they conserve water up to 10 gallons per person per day or is saved uh, that we can use for drinking water versus flushing toilets. Two, I like to use the composted human manure in my garden to amend the soil, to add up organics and enrich the soil, specifically for my fruit trees, even native landscapes, uh, plants enjoy it. So you may be wondering how a composting toilet works. Well, it works just like your garden compost, your kitchen compost, it utilizes the composting process. And the composting process requires a couple things. One, it requires a balance with carbon and nitrogen. So when I use the toilet, I defecate, I produce a nitrogen mass. And when I go to cover that mass with carbon or sawdust, that helps balance that carbon nitrogen. And then through, so uh, we also require moisture. So moisture like a well wrung out sponge will allow ample oxygen to move through that pile because then we need to be able to feed the microbes. And the microbes are the ones that heat up this mass of compost. And so it's through that heating up process where the microbes are consuming the nutrients that I'm producing and turning that into heat and helping to heat up that pile, which then treats uh, safely uh, and renders safely the composting, uh, composted material uh, to reduce potential pathogens like E. coli, salmonella, uh, Ascaris, etc. And so once we allow this pile to compost for at least four months, then we can remove it from the chamber and apply it to our garden for uh, what's rated as Class A biosolids, safe for backyard garden use. And our fruit trees love it. So once we've aged that compost four months, we want to get it out of that chamber. And to do that, we come on the backside of the composting toilet chamber. We undo each of these four wing nuts. We pull off this plate, pull up a wheelbarrow, and we shovel that material out. Quick and easy, takes about 15 minutes. So here we are in the food forest and we have a citrus tree that is benefiting from our humanure compost. So all of this is composted humanure, safe, effective for use in the garden and it's benefiting these trees and I get to eat these tasty lemons. Hi, my name is Amanda. I'm an intern here at Watershed Management Group. Amanda, what do you smell when you open the lid? It smells like a fresh pile of compost. So here we're looking into the active chamber and the first thing we see is the urine diversion uh, cup. And so this prevents urine from uh, entering into the composting chamber, which is a closed sealed system. So instead the urine is diverted into the garden into an inf infiltration chamber. And as you look into the chamber, you'll just see a top dressing of sawdust. Uh, so that's what we should see when we open the lid to a composting toilet. So the urine that's diverted inside the chamber goes through a pipe underground and is infiltrated in this infiltration chamber. So here we have an inspection port for that chamber so we can monitor what's going on inside the chamber. Um, and so we look in and we see moist soil and so that means it's infiltrating well. And around us are uh, perennial plants. So we have fruit trees, uh, peach tree, fig tree, we have other native perennials. So they're all uptaking that moisture, that, those nutrients, and uh, utilizing it as a resource. So in order to maintain compost toilets, we have to do a process called aeration. In order to do that, I'm gonna lift my lid and remove my cover, and I'm gonna put our aerator in, and I'm gonna put it into the material and turn it clockwise, and then pull it out, put it in a different spot, and turn it clockwise. We do this so that we can put oxygen in the material for the microbes. 
Now, when aerating your chambers, you always start with the aging material first and then go to the active material. So, I'm going to aerate our active compost toilet. You may notice this piece of pipe on the top of our toilets. This is an intake valve for air, so air can flow in and help with the micro process. This jar on top is a light trap. When flies um, are attracted to the ambient light, they come up, they get stuck in this jar, and they end their life cycle. 